In this lecture, we're going to talk about probability with the keyword at least one. Probability of at least one is always equal to one minus probability of none. We will break this down in a couple of examples to see how it's going to work out. First, let's take a look at a couple of examples. Consider a family with three children. We want to find out the probability that they have at least one girl. Now think of a box that contains 10 green and 15 red balls. And we're supposed to draw four balls without replacement in any order. What's the probability of drawing at least one green ball? So the key word in this topic is look for the word at least one. Consider a family with three children. We want to find probability that they have at least one. So probability of at least one girl will be one minus probability of no girls. which is basically 1 minus probability of all boys. Now, the kids being boy or girl are independent events. So probability of all boys will be, for the first child being a boy, is 0.5. For the second child is 0.5. And a third child is so we're using the concept of multiplication rule and the events being independent. Once we simplify this, we get 0.875. So probability of having at least one girl in a family with three children is 0.875. Now let's look at uh, our second example. We're going to draw four balls and the question is asking what's the probability of having at least one green ball. So once again, the key word here is at least, and probability of at least one is going to be one minus probability of none. So this will be one minus probability of no green ball. Now, no green is the same as having probability of all red balls. Now altogether we have 25 balls and we're drawing four balls. There are 10 green balls available but our desired event is all red balls, so we're selecting none of those green balls. From the 15 red balls, we're going to draw four balls. So once we simplify this, we're going to get 2257 over 2530. And if I play, put this in decimal, I get 
So here, probability of getting at least one green ball, when we have 10 green balls and 15 red balls, and we're drawing four balls, is 0.892. Now I consider a uh, election with six female candidates and 14 male candidates. And all voters are supposed to vote for four candidates. We want to know what's the probability that not all four candidates are the same gender. Well, it is possible that we get all four candidates to be females. It is also possible to get all four to be male. But these are not the desired event. The desired event is that all four candidates not having same gender. So we want some female and some male. So probability that they are not all same gender would be 1 minus probability that they all are same gender. So in this case, same gender could be all females or all males. So we're going to have 1 minus probability of all females plus probability of all males. Now, I have done the calculation already. Probability of all females will be 1 over 323. And probability of all males is 1001 over 4845. Once you simplify this expression, you get 3829 over 4845. And in decimal, we get 0.790. I hope this uh, brief presentation helped you understand how to work with probabilities and the word at least one or at least in general.